Hello, I am Josie and I am Laurie, and today we are going to teach you about hurricanes. Hurricanes, hurricanes, dun dun dun. We're not going to teach you about any hurricane. When we're not going to teach you about any of the hurricanes on this list either. We are going to teach you about a very strong hurricane that happened in 2005. Hurricane Katrina. Hurricane Katrina was the 11th named storm and the 5th hurricane of the 2005 Atlantic season in 2005, obviously. It was a very costly disaster and it was also one of the five most deadliest hurricanes which had ever happened in the USA. Hurricane Katrina was very strong as the hurricane scale goes from 1 to 5, 1 being minimal damage and 5 being catastrophic damage. Hurricane Katrina was 5, catastrophic damage, which meant over our, um, sustained winds of over 155 miles per hour were felt. The total fatalities for, for Katrina were 1,833 deaths. That's a lot of deaths. Now... This is what a hurricane may look like. In the centre, you can see the eye of the storm, which is the catalyst. And here we are going to show you why. Imagine that I'm a massive water bottle. What, watch how it spins. In the centre, which are my feet, they're spinning the least. So, the, my head is spinning the most, so much so far that it sometimes goes off the page. But my feet spin very slowly at all, so they hardly spin at all. So it means that, some, that the, there will be less spinning in the center, which leaves a relatively calm center. So that means you'll know that the storm is halfway through when you're, when you're in the eye. So that's how a hurricane, how it works. Now, back in the studio, we are going to learn how hurricanes are formed. As you can see, this hurricane is over water, and that means it can suck up more water. At the beginning, over warm water, over 79 degrees Fahrenheit, the, the, water, the, water, the moisture in the air will get sucked up and will slowly spin. The, the longer it's over the, this, these warm waters, the, lo, the, lo, the bigger and stronger that this hurricane may get. As you can see, this, this hurricane looks as if it's been over the water for a long time. As you can see, because it's a rather big hurricane. Now, back to the studio yet again. The date of Hurricane Katrina is as follows. It began on the 29th of, 23rd of August 2005 and then after its long reign she ended on the she landed on the 31st of August 2005. That's a rather long hurricane which lasts for a, a long time. That lasts just over a week. Now, imagine you are here. This is a hurricane. Fast winds, lot, lots of rain, and imagine, and even imagine this, flooding everywhere. You may be washed a bit away by the floods. Ah, and being washed away. Or you could be stuck in a building, which is when it's really strong. Who knows what could happen in a hurricane? I don't. Probably scientists do, though, but that's besides the point. Now, if you were here and it was raining, imagine you were outside in the hurricane. You might get blown off your feet like this. If you were outside in a hurricane like Katrina, you probably would have got blown away because it was so strong. So, there you have it. Now, now you can say that you've learned a lot about Hurricane Katrina and how hurricanes are formed and why hurricanes are more peaceful 
in the eye of the storm. Thank you very much for listening and hopefully you'll be able to pass on this knowledge and wisdom to other folk.